And speaking of exceptional students, 62 CCSD high school students are semifinalists in the 2022 National Merit Scholarship Program. How special is this honor? Semifinalists represent less than 1% of U.S. high school seniors, and they will compete for National Merit Scholarships worth nearly $30 million. Superintendent Jara caught up with three semifinalists from Clark High School here in the Vegas PBS studios to learn more about their achievements. First of all, let's just have you introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about your favorite area of study. I'm Savannah and I really enjoy math. I'm looking at majoring in biomedical engineering. Uh, hello guys, my name is Philip and uh, something I'm interested in majoring in is uh, poli-sci and I'm interested in social studies, so. And I'm Megano, but I go by Meg and I'm a science enthusiast, so I like biology, psychology and anatomy and physiology and I'm planning on pursuing neuroscience as my major in college. Excellent. Well, you know, top talent. Um, so proud of all of you and, and really uh, thank you for being here. So Savannah, the past two school years have been untraditional due to the pandemic. What has helped you keep your grades up and what did you learn from the past few years? I think that a lot of my um, drive and determination has helped to keep my grades up, but also a lot of outside support from my friends and family. I think overall just finding my happy place and working through it. Excellent. So Philip, so how do you think this honor um, will impact your future plans for college and or career? So I think getting this honor will be able to like distinguish me apart from like the other 99% of students across the country. And I think that this honor will allow colleges to be more interested and uh, give me more money potentially. And with student debt being the highest it has ever been in mm -hmm. like the nation, I think it's important that like I can get every single dollar possible and like with getting this uh, scholarship it'll, it'll help me get more opportunities to like go to different colleges potentially and uh, with that said getting those connections and those resources from those colleges will help me be prepared to either become a lawyer or a businessman which is what I want to do in the future. So did I hear you um, say the top one percent? So you guys are right here the three of you in the top one percent in student achievement, not in Clark County School District, not in Clark County, not in Nevada, in the country? Is that That's what correct. I'm hearing? Yeah. So phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal work from you. Your parents must be so proud, and of course your teachers. So that I'm, I'm just so grateful um, to be here with you as you are the top 1%. But Meg, what have you learned about yourself by participating in this scholarship competition? So. Through participating in National Merit, I learned the importance of a grit mindset. So because I was able to spend a lot of time, 100% of my effort on studying for the standardized test, it's obviously shown through my achievement here today, but it's also taught me personally how much pride and self-respect I have for myself. And I started applying that grit mindset of hard work and perseverance in other aspects of my life. And it just, made me feel a lot more accomplished with everything that I was doing. So that was something that I'm grateful for learning through National Merit. Uh, what advice would you give other students um, that are going to be watching this um, to, to really achieve this goal? Meg, we'll start with you, Philip, and then we'll come this way. So my number one advice is to not be afraid of failure. I think because of so much pressure that we put on ourselves and external pressure as well that we tend to lose track of how much we can actually accomplish. And so if we learn that it's okay to make mistakes, but it's how we overcome these obstacles and how we learn from those mistakes, that's what's going to make you successful, not just for this competition, but in life. So I would say, don't be afraid to fail. Perfect. Um, a tip I would give to students so, is that it's okay to take a break because like, with all the studying and all the practice tests and questions that you do, your mind will eventually get tired. And just like working out, you need time to, your muscles need time to recover so you can do the next exercise. And the brain is also a muscle, right? So you need time for it to recover and recuperate before doing more questions and practice tests. So I think it's okay for people to take a break and they don't have to consume all of the time 24 seven to just like studying for the PSA and like be able to like balance your life, hang out with friends, talk with like your family Perfect. and stuff like that. Perfect, Savannah, wrap us up. I would say just believe in yourself, I think. It's really important to look 
and see all the work you've done in preparation. So for the PSAT, all the practice problems. And then on the actual test day, just remember what you prepared for and believe in your ability to do it. Excellent. So you heard from the top 1% in America. Don't, for, don't, don't worry about failure. Uh, rest and believe in yourself. Again, congratulations for being here. And I wish you all the continued success as you graduate and you go make us all proud. Thank you again. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Jara. At the end of the program, we'll list all of CCSD's National Merit Scholarship semifinalists as they all deserve the spotlight.